Music legend Jimmy Buffett has died at 76 years old. The Margaritaville singer is known for his tropical folk tunes and Buffett's super fans across the globe, of course, are in mourning tonight. And one of them actually lives here in Toledo. Our Christy Gerlet met up with the Parrot Head and got a tour of his Margaritaville cave, which is technically like two steps up from a man cave. Take a look. Well, it's a, it has a Hawaiian theme, but it's sort of in keeping with uh, the Jimmy Buffett Margaritaville uh, theme that we've established down here in our little man cave. I got my uh, attack flamingo down here in case anybody wanders too close. <laughs> most of them are uh, Buffett related. Uh, most of them purchased in Key West, m many of them from his store in Key West on uh, Duval. When we'd go to a Buffett concert, we would put this sign on the dash of the car uh, on the inside. Uh, and a lot of other folks had them as well, just as a, a very polite reminder, this is our spot and we're parrot heads. <laughs> My wife and I attended uh, 31 Jimmy Buffett shows, 31 concerts over the years uh, until we lost her. And each concert we would buy a t-shirt. And so she finally assembled them all into this quilt uh, as a, almost like a journal. Uh, a sewn together journal of all of our travels to see Jimmy Buffett. Nibbling on sponge cake. I started back in 1984 at an amphitheater outside in um, Mountain View, California. And I'll never forget it because it poured down rain all day. I saw him in Detroit many times. I saw him in Akron at Blossom Music uh, Theater several times, um, at River Bend in Cincinnati. Uh, Post Gazette Pavilion in Pittsburgh. Jimmy Buffett concert experience was incredible. I mean, I've been to a lot of uh, concerts over the years, other performers, and enjoyed them. But there was something special about going to a Buffett show. Yeah, everyone's connected to this one man and his wonderful uh, music, and I think that's his legacy. And uh, I really regret that I won't get to see him perform anymore. Uh, but I'm comforted by the fact that I can play his music anytime. I'm up a pork spank, smell those shrimp, him again in the boil. All right, now one of Jimmy Buffett's most famous songs, of course, besides Margaritaville, is It's Five O'Clock Somewhere, but is it really? So to answer this, we did some research, and by law, the United States and its dependencies allow it to be five o'clock <laughs> nine different times each day because of time zones. And if you're talking worldwide, technically it's five o'clock somewhere literally every minute of every single day. Uh, Scientific America says all the time zones in the world actually start and stop at the North Pole. So in a sense, it's always five o'clock somewhere all the time. Sure is. He was on to something. <laughs> what I love. Yeah, certainly puts you in a good mood just to hear some Buffett songs. Makes Definitely. you feel like you're on vacation, even if you're at home. But really, or here, really, work. yeah, really <laughs> unites all of his fans. And it sounds like the concerts were an amazing experience. Do you have a favorite? I honestly will be honest. I think the restaurants are very cool. Unfortunately, I've never eaten at a margarita. But yeah, same have here. You? No, I have not. OK, so that's on our bucket you know list of things songs. to do. Exactly. I know five o'clock somewhere, Margaritaville. Cheeseburger in Paradise. See, that one. That's I, three. <laughs> <laughs> we're doing good. Yeah. So